Hello, I'm Chase Stephen Morrison, Senior Vice President at CSIS. This week, President Trump launched repeated attacks upon the World Health Organization and its Director General, Dr. Tedros, arguing that WHO was China-centric and had made repeated bad calls. This triggered reactions in the Senate, calls for investigations for withholding of funds and for Dr. Tedros' resignation. The United States accounts for over 15% of the funding for WHO. It's the largest donor, over 500 million per year. To disrupt that relationship at this moment in time in the middle of the pandemic would be catastrophic. The administration is not necessarily unified in its outlook on this. Secretary of State Pompeo has argued that performance reviews of WHO should wait until after the pandemic. Anthony Fauci has praised the outstanding leadership of Dr. Tedros. China is certainly deserving of criticism. It covered up the outbreak for six to seven weeks at the end of last year. After notifying the WHO of the outbreak end of December, it delayed sharing specimens. It delayed access by external scientists until mid-February. Precious time was lost as a result of these actions by the Chinese. Very consequential in the spread of the virus to the rest of the world, kept much of the world in the dark. Dr. Tejos, by contrast, made mistakes did not make terrible decisions with huge consequential impacts. He was too effusive and gushing in his praise of the Chinese. He did engage in quiet diplomacy versus a diplomacy that might have been publicly a bit tougher. Dr. Tedros delayed declaring a pandemic until March 11th under Chinese pressure. We need to put this in context. Many of the allegations made against Dr. Tedros are simply not accurate. His leverage over superpowers as the head of WHO is very, very limited. He has to navigate a very difficult situation with a weak diplomatic hand. Dr. Tedros and WHO have become a convenient foil for President Trump's efforts to deflect blame onto others. Let me just close by saying, Dr. Tedros is an innovator. He is a person of outstanding leadership and integrity. I do hope that ultimately the Trump administration comes to its senses and does not damage WHO at this critical moment in time.